Hi, I'm Blair. And I'm Mac. Today we're doing a test taste from Olenstein Bakery. Yeah, so we were down in London and we passed this bakery and there was a line like around the block and we said we have to try it. And as we got closer, we recognized that this bakery put us in mind of Panera Bread, which does not exist here in the UK, but it's one of our favorite bakeries in the US. So with that in mind, we had to test it. And we figured the best way to do it is to try it with you guys as well. So today we're gonna try out a cinnamon social, an apple pie, a strawberry tart, and a cinnamon swirl. So what do you wanna start with first? How about the apple pie? Okay. Apple American pie. is apple pie. Now I know apple pie didn't originate in America, but it is incredibly popular in America. Everyone loves apple pie. And although I may have called this a bit of something like a, a muffin, but uh, at the store they call this an apple pie. Oh, that's really good. Like the apple is very soft and you can tell that this has not been heavily processed. Yeah. Like this tastes like fresh apple. It doesn't taste like an apple that came out of a can. It tastes like an apple that was just recently peeled. Mm -hmm. uh, the apple's not too sweet, but it's just sweet enough. Um, and it's still a little firmness to it, so that also helps. The crust on the bottom is also really, really soft. So Olenstein opened in the UK in 2016. I believe they also have a location in the US in New York City. It's a Danish bakery. And I can see why they are spreading around the world. I like the fact that the flavors are are, are not overwhelming. Right. It's a, it's a nice, simple, but crisp, you know you're eating an apple flavor. Yeah, but not, not overwhelming. And you can tell that this just does not taste like there's a lot of artificial additives and extra no. flavor added to give you that extra kick. It tastes like something really that your grandmother would make if your grandmother baked apple pie. This tastes like grandma's apple pie. Yeah. Yeah. So you want to move on? We're just taste testing, and then if we keep going, we'll eat all that. Yeah, I'll just sit here and keep eating. <laughs> yeah, we'll eat all of it. And uh, what about the strawberry tart? Yeah, so the strawberry tart. So this is a strawberry tart, and it looks like it sits over uh, chocolate. You have the strawberry tart, the strawberry, there's a thin layer of chocolate, and then there's the you know that crust under the bottom. Yeah, I'm getting a very, again, a very refined flavor. The chocolate is not overwhelming. Yeah. It has a little bit of... Uh, it's almost a cheesecake type yeah, thing almost a cheese in the middle. Yeah. So it tastes like a little piece of cheesecake, which is really nice. Um, you can tell that these strawberries are, again, fresh strawberries. These haven't been over-processed. These strawberries didn't kind of come out of a can. There, there's a slight glaze on them. But there's, there's a firmness to the strawberry yeah. as well. The, the filling is filling for a custard that we're, or a tart that we're used to is more, um, more of an egg base. This, like I said, it tastes more like a strawberry cheesecake. And like Max said, it has a little chocolate layer and then a, a shallow tart shell. So it tastes really good. You know, I'm completely understanding why there was a line are yes. uh, lined up with everyone trying to get into this bakery. And you know, when you're in a new city and you're trying something new and you want to try something new, it, it, it always makes sense. You see a lot of people go to the back of the line. You know, if it's like a, a restaurant or a bakery or something like that and there's a lot of people, you know that food is good because if the locals are eating it, you know it's good. Yeah. Again, we have to stop because yeah. I have to sit there and eat all of this. This is go This is going to be the dessert after the rest of my dinner. Yes. So. Something classic, you know, what about the uh, cinnamon swirl? Cinnamon swirl. Yeah, we could have used that. That is good. Just a nice, clean cinnamon flavor. You know, I'm starting to get, I'm starting to understand, I think, 
what make the desserts from Olenstein so special. It has a wonderful flavor, but you can tell that they didn't go in and try to add every single flavor in the kitchen into this dish. Right. You know, there's a bit of cinnamon on here, definitely a lot of cinnamon, but as far as the, the icing, it's just a couple of, you know, a couple uh, lines of icing. They didn't just drench this in icing. Now that's really good. Yep. The actual bread pastry itself is flaky on the outside, but moist and still has good flavor on the inside. Definitely a must if you're trying to eat a big good. Yeah, you know, this, so from what we can see, Olenstein is a bakery as well as a coffee shop. And I was just in there thinking it would be wonderful if I had a cup of coffee to go with this right now. Mm -hmm. This would, this would be to blend and match with this cinnamon. A nice black coffee would be great. All right, so I'm not familiar with the cinnamon social. I think this is something that is really a dish that is unique to Olenstein. So let's move on to that last dessert. And it'd be good to compare it right after eating the cinnamon swirl. Now this one is really nice because there are layers of uh, like a, a baked pastry, cinnamon, pastry, cinnamon, and you can see it layered all the way up. And you can taste that in, when you go in for your first bite and look at all of that cinnamon, just that dark, rich cinnamon that is in the middle of this. Also, it was a really good serving size. Um, it's like a loaf style actually, which that just in itself it just looks really good. And like Max said, it would be great to have this with a cup of coffee or a cappuccino. And there's clearly a very different flavor between the cinnamon swirl and the cinnamon social. And if I would compare the two, I guess of course it depends, but if you want a richer flavor, the social has a much more depth, depth of flavor. Mm -hmm. uh, there's more layers and much more of a stronger cinnamon taste in this, but also, again, really, really good. So, Olenstein, we definitely give it a thumbs up. We'll definitely go back and try some more. Yeah, I think there's about seven of them that I've seen scattered around London. So the next time we're back in London, we will be back at Olenstein. If you haven't tried it, and if you know some, I think there may be one even in Oxford. But if you know of Olenstein, drop that in the comments, drop the location so people can go and try it out. If you haven't tried Olenstein, go out, pick up a cinnamon social, get a cinnamon swirl. You know, the, there's a lot of other different types of desserts. I think you've seen those already in the video. We only picked out a couple, but the cinnamon social appears to be the standard dish. You definitely want to try that. Olenstein, 100% yeah. all the way. It's a win. It's hey, if you good. like these type of content, guys, be sure to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Okay, until next time. See you later. Bye.